Okay, that should be good. There we go. The last episode of Dragon Ball Z, I got my ass kicked by Ridley. And I'm short on health. Yeah, you might want more than this for Ridley. Well, I'm just gonna see just how, because I still don't know anything about how to fight him. Okay. God. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, a good uh, sign of things to come. There we go. Wow, slow down. Okay. Fuck, he's so big. He just runs right into me. Well, okay. Those fireballs home in on you. That is, they didn't do that in the super. Fuck. And he's running me into a corner. What the hell? Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Ugh. Oh wow, his foot. It doesn't actually hurt you. Yeah, his hitbox is a little hard to read. I think that's one of my least favorite parts about mentoring enemies sometimes. Like, really, not everything is hurts you, but it's really hard to tell what does and what doesn't. I know, like, look, I can touch his foot, but I can't touch his hand. And obviously his tail is super deadly. Yeah. I am going to die. You got Fuck! This. Ah, he turned around on me. Yeah, Nightmare gave me a nightmare, too. Nightmare's the best. Sure, but it's also <laughs> one of the hardest. Yeah. Let me increase the volume here. There we go. Because Richard actually came out really low. I almost killed him, I think. So I'm going to go that that again and this time not get hurt in the acid pools. Whoops. Yeah, and he does take up a lot of the screen, too. Don't forget, you have diffusion missiles. Nope! Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, that went better. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, he only comes up when I... Okay, go near him. Open it up! Damn, that friggin' stream of his. Okay, this is new. He didn't do this the first time. Oh god, ah, I hate that. So yeah, you can touch his feet, you can't touch his hands. Darn, and his tail's the worst. I think the, uh, oh! Okay, so here's what else I noticed. He, uh, he moves in a wave. But the wave is also, like, dependent on you. So, like, see, before he didn't move that far, but because I'm going all the way to this side of the screen, now he's actually moving all the way. Oh, shit! Okay, that was weird. Gotcha. Okay. Ah. No! Hate that move. Dark. God 
gosh. Oh god! Okay, he didn't he wasn't facing towards me that time. So what determines when he turns around? Uh I don't know. I I'm too focused on him to Shit! Shit! You're- oh, Come on! You're in the- Oh! Okay. Well, it's like, give me a chance to go under you. You got the space jump. Oh, I don't see the space jump being useful in this fight. He's, he's so big. Oh well, yeah, I mean, if you can't go under, though. Yeah, but, but I'm afraid of him grabbing me because that'll like that'll kill me. Like, look how close I am to dying. Yeah, bring it. Oh shit, he's doing it again. Yeah, I got over him. Gotcha. Fuck! He did that thing again. Oh, almost got him. I'm not gonna make it through this anyway. Fuck! Fireballs. Oh, I'm really out of sync. Damn! Last fireball there. Is there any easy place to refill on stuff? No. You can't really kill these things either. No. Damn it. Whoops, wasted this all that. You know, if you just don't get near him, I'll never wake up. <laughs> That's true. Alright! Bring it! Oh, you fucking hate him when he does that. He turned around so fast and got me. Okay. God! I was trying to space jump over him. Let go! Oh. I, I, okay, I still can't figure out when and why he turns around like that. Whoops, I dropped a power bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost dead again. I think I did worse this time. Oh yeah, his tail also moves in its own wave pattern, so that's two timers on yeah, what is complex timing. Yeah, Ridley himself is in a wave pattern, and that and the length of the wave is relative to me, and then his tail is on his own wave pattern, and it can switch sides, uh, depending on what direction he's facing. And the fireballs. Oh yeah, the fireballs too, they also home in on you. So cool boss, but damn is he hard. <laughs> and he's so big too. And he kind of corners you, like a jerk.
Yeah, you got I'm, I'm not sure if I like that. One thing I like about fusion is that, like, BOX, you literally couldn't hit it for significant portions of the fight. And then, um, Ridley, it is pretty much always possible to hit him, but many times, like, a lot of the time it is just not feasible because you have to be dodging. So I think that's a good sense of uh, variety in the boss design. Oh yeah. Oh, I timed that bad. What the fuck was I supposed to do in that? He went all the way down to the ground. Not get on it? No. Normally he doesn't go that like, like see how high he is right now? Oh shit. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, like, see how tight that wave pattern was right there? Because I, I, I need to go all the way here. Fuck. Damn, those fireballs are keeping me, uh, being able to go to the other side of the room. Whoa! Okay, why was he strengthening like that? Gotcha! Okay. Oh no. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, he is a missile sponge. He was like that in Super Metroid, too. And in the first Metroid. percent run of this game uh, there's a video of a guy who just like he space jumps up in the top left corner and shoots plasma beams down at Ridley the whole time yeah that's just the whole fight just space jumping against that corner it looks so ridiculous come on what the fuck Fireballs had me trapped. Oh, I got it again. Does he always introduce the pogo tail when he turns purple? I think so. There's like a pause that happens when he transitions. Oh, oh damn fireballs. For some new energy expansions? No. Or just like health refills. Yeah, I gotta grind for some health. 
but the, th the problem is the fucking enemies, because when I tried doing that the first time, I ended up with less health than what I started with. Is it all those golden pirates? Yeah, and they take up their own missiles too. Yeah, these things. Alright, power bomb. Oh wait, I didn't kill him. That sucks that the door relocks every time you go through this room. Let's see if this can do it. Oh shit, a red one. Fuck! Oh dude, you can Look, see I'm losing more health now. Oh god, this is shit. <laughs> Knocked me right out the door. Have more health? Like one energy tank, maybe? It seems like you could just go through that room a couple times. Yeah, looks like it. But, uh, you know. Lord knows what's gonna happen on the Golden Pirates. Got it. I'm thinking maybe if I do freeze them all, do a power bomb, I can kill them all. Oh god, I have to do a power bomb here. You gotta kill the golden pirate to open the door, right? What? Why is he in the door? <laughs> Come back here. There we go. You might want to just do it one at a time. You can kill him with the plasma beam instead of the uh, power bomb. Okay, okay. Hang on, let me see if I can get them all in one shot. Yeah. Oh, you see this little cheater here? Oh. Okay. Never mind, he's not. What? Um, why did you reset? Because I think this is a good grind spot, actually. Oh. Wait, I just gotta wait for this guy to... Yeah, let me absorb him. doesn't open unless you kill the gold pirates. Oh. That's a good way to get stuck on your first time through the game. <laughs> Figure out all the enemies and the door doesn't open. Uh, why did you freeze? Whatever. I only need to kill at least one of them. Hey, it's a red one. Give me that. Yeah, you are max now. So that... I think the red ones are totally random. 
All right. Now let's kill off this. God. I only took. No, you. Yeah, there's two of them. Gotcha. Give me that. Give me back my health you stole. There we go. Alright, let's save. So that way I can fight really at full health. This time maybe I can stand a chance. Cause... Yeah, he's way better now. Yeah, I almost killed him with uh, a fraction of my health, so I should do good now. I gotta say, I have died more in fusion, I think, than any other Metroid game. Yeah, fusion's the hard one. Yeah. Unless you uh, count, you know, yeah. how janky the first one is. Yeah, but the first one did it because, one, you don't have a lot of energy tanks, and two, it's so stingy with health in general. Like, any time you lose, you always start with 30 health, and then that's... It yeah. takes forever to get that back up. Like, you can see in some of my videos, I had to speed up the footage because it was, like, not fun at all to even, like, watch that. I still don't know how you had the patience for that. <laughs> well, you gotta do what you gotta do to win. I, t I completely missed that shot! How can I be so stupid? No, 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 come on, come on, get out! There we go. Yeah. Getting a bit better at aiming so I can sneak in a few extra shots. Oh, okay. Every now and then really keeps tricking me up with that. It's like his turning and his uh, moving are not entirely in sync. Oh, there, you see that? Where, where he just like turned, when, even though he was all the way at the edge of the wall and it already turned? Yeah. That's the that's what's getting me the most.
gameplay police are coming back to arrest me? <laughs> Fuck the police, I got the screw attack. Ah, oh, my heart. Ah. Uh, that was really stressful. Oh, wow, that looks cool. Oh, wait. Screw attack. <laughs> oh, I hate these things. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so good. Oh, so this is a question I asked in the, the topic or zone on. And, like, what what is it like to change your method of attack that's, you know, normally about shooting like this to, um, you know, jumping right into them? How do you mean what it's like? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Oh. Uh, I asked the question better, like... Let me see if I can look it up. Yeah. Definitely saving now. Does it make sense that the screw attack makes jumping a form of attack where previously the game was about shooting? So like you have all these beams that increase your offensive capabilities when you shoot, and then suddenly you just have an entirely different mechanic for offense. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, think about it, you would... You wouldn't have anything like that in something like Mega Man, where just jumping into them, you could destroy them. I think that the screw attack is a big part of what makes the end of a Metroid game, uh, you know, the icing on the cake. That um, it does break the game in such a satisfying way because now navigation is offense and that kind of overpowers you, which is half the fun. <laughs> oh, got it. That's also a big part of, like, I mean, just, just Metroid in general tends towards a uh, denouement at the end. Oh, okay. This is crazy. Nope. Hang on, let me see if I can get this right. Yeah! <laughs> well, it, this is so cool, though. Like, even if it... it... Okay, here's... Something's going in my head right now. Like, on the one hand, like, it's not so... It doesn't mean, like shooting doesn't matter anymore because I mean it's still you know a ranged projectile whereas with the screw attack you have to get up and up close and personal so it's not like you know shooting enemies is totally useless right at close range enemies are liable to hurt you yeah there's also bosses don't take damage from screw attacks and bosses are the big challenges in the game yeah and you also have to... Those... Oh wow, I destroyed the platforms. Yeah, this that's annoying. That doesn't need to happen. <laughs> no, I, if all these platforms really got in the way and I couldn't just like go up here, I think... No, I think it's real satisfying to destroy these platforms. Oh, well... I usually just... screw up my screw at or space jump. And then I had something to land on. I don't know, I feel pretty good at space jumping. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, by the way. <laughs> Probably back to Adam. Yeah, he'll, uh... Oh, nope, I got this. Let's explore a bit. No bullshit here. 
I thought they would try to do that. You probably do lava. Wait, can I? Oh, I can do lava now. Oh, wow. Hello, what's down here? Is this a Metroid sack? I hope yeah, it's not. Like in Metroid 2. Sheet. Oh, like, see here, the platform gets in my way. That's another thing, um... Platforms and, in general, narrow areas, the screw attack, you know, isn't this all-powerful thing. So even though it can one-shot them... Oh, god. That, too. You also need the unique running room, too. Because if you do a neutral jump like this... Oh wait, no, never mind, you can just push A in the air and then get it. So Bleach says... That's why the screw attack is one of the last items you get. You earn it, and it doesn't destroy the challenge early on. That makes it more satisfying a reward to use, and change the dynamic of the enemies and levels. It makes backtracking different. That bit where you can finally kill those floating bugs is a brilliant piece of design. Yeah. Uh, Metroid 1 is somewhat of an exception, because you can get that thing, like... You can get that thing before you kill either Ridley or Kraid. In fact, that's what happened to me in my first playthrough, where I had that thing almost, like, half my playthrough. Well, so, the thing about Metroid 1 is that bosses aren't a great marker of progression. <laughs> no, they're not. So you get the screw attack, you need the high jump, and you need the ice beam, I'm pretty sure. And of course you'll have missiles and you'll have power or not power. You'll have more fall and you'll have more fall bombs. Um, so in order to get the screw attack, you have to do most of the item collection. Yeah, there's not that many items in um, the first Metroid either. Done here, leave the rest of the Federation. You should be preparing to evacuate the station. Oh god, Samus is talking again. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the eggs are? How quickly they reproduce? Just like Metroids. The Federation has taken an interest in the X and Samus Aaron X. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. Because that went so well with the Metroids. This is ridiculous. The X are heartless abominations. Oh, Samus, come on, don't be like that. What potential could they have? It's not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness, Sparta. They won't stand a chance here. The station will devour them. What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think they can succeed? Yeah, they're basically fighting you. And I'm pretty sure you can wipe them out. It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. Those bastards. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. These bastards. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. Damn right. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade, because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. Yeah, this is something different in this game versus how the Federation is treated in the Prime games where they're like the good guys, but here they're kind of uh, shady. They can be a little bit shady and... Yeah, they had already sent it and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission. Open a cha channel to HQ. They won't let this happen. They're already on their way. Fools. As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. The station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself if I have to. No, don't be like... It's the last game in the series. Shh. 
It is. Oh my god. I don't know if she's gonna die or not. Wait. Okay. Open the damn door! I'm in order to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Yeah, that's what she named you, remember? Who's Adam? Friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? You would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. You know how important it is. I didn't know computers could, like, put dramatic pauses in their speech. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I guess... I don't know why anyone would want to make an AI like that, but... Whatever. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? Yeah, he did that once. He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. Well, this... Uh, I guess being a martyr is okay. He made that sacrifice once. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> yep. So he knew that that applied to him as well. At least he wasn't his comeback about it. So he chose life for you. Our fair warrior, Samus Harry. Your, get, uh, your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. Yeah. How foolish. Oh, well, fuck you. How dare you? How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that detonating the station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the ex-parasites, even though the station would be utterly destroyed. Well, he's got a point there. You would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin, yourself. <laughs> You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. Wait, when Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. No, he didn't. You just said that Samus is the only thing that can stop these things from the galaxy becoming in ruin. So, no, he chose right. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. Wait, why are you saying that? You would have to start the propulsion sequence now. Before the Federation arrives. I guess the computer had a change of heart. Samus, this is your, yeah, it did. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR-3. Oh, okay, with surprise face. Then return to your ship and escape. Quickly, stay alive. That's an order. Any objections, lady? Nope, that's pretty much what I wanted. Oh, Greg, um, just like with Super Metroid, what is the the uh, the point where I can no longer? Let me know where the point is where I can't explore the world anymore if I save past a certain area. I'm not sure where it is, actually. Oh. Uh, because I'm tempted to just explore a bit right now. But the music is telling me to go kick some ass. Hmm. You might want to, like, see how far you can go. Like, save now. And see if you need to save again, or if it would just be find to keep a save right here if you know what I mean yeah. hey the elevators fixed oh except that's not fixed that's still broken and I can still go in here but I already got what was in here yeah you gotta call the super about that Here. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so I just screw attack. There we go. Oh no, this is for uh, power up. All right. Finally, more power bombs. Okay. I see what they're doing here. Where's the fake wall? There is. There's the fake wall. Got it. That's always cool when they do that. They have a way of making it, like, easy to get. Or that, that you can't figure out, you know, how to go through it. Bleach, what are you doing there singing Justin Bieber songs? Oh, he's referencing other M. Oh, is this a recharging one? I, I guess. guess. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, the screw attack in this game doesn't sound as weird as it did in Super. I like how it sounds a little different each time. I forget if Zero Mission has the fusion sound. Am I going the right way? Yep. Okay, good. I was, I was hoping that I could naturally go into the... where I needed to go. Because I knew it was like up here somewhere. Oh god. OH MY GOD! Oh, you fucker! Let's go! Oh, how do I do this? Story another him. I'm gonna kill you, Brad. Oh, you, you, uh... You're a fan of the story another him? How cool is that? The baby. Well, let I, I, I'm tempted to talk about it, but Adrian has not played. Oh, just said the baby. Uh, the infant, you mean? The uh, the offspring. The gotcha. baby. All the baby. You know, if you think about it, uh, S.I.X. Is, is kind of a Samus baby. Okay, down there. Get up here. Oh, you piece of shit. Well, how did she do that? She, like, did a spin dash. <laughs> and I can't hurt her with my spin attack. Oh, God, I'm gonna fucking die. And I can't run. Damn! It, it, it doesn't cancel our screw attacks where we like collide or clash or anything like that, it's just I get hurt. So you got screwed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were waiting to rip that one out, weren't you? Where are you? Uh, I'm supposed to be the hunter here. Oh, mother- What? That didn't hit me! Bullshit! <laughs> okay, so maybe that is the cutoff point, so... Hang on, let me see if I can do a soft reset and copy a file. How do you do it again? Left, right, start, select. How do you do a, a soft reset in the Game Boy Advance? I think it's start select. LR start select. LR start select. Oh, oh shit. So that's sleep mode. I don't know if this game does it. 
Hmm. Darn. Oh, right. let me just quit the game. Did you get yourself some sleep? No. Oh. I just want to quit the game and duplicate file. The baby. Oops, I did it again. Ah. Dad's kiss, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what about select? Is that the map? Uh, select isn't doing anything. Uh -huh. So that's star, but... Star. Alright, All right. time to go into the emulator itself. This is the hardest boss of Metroid Fusion. <laughs> the only thing you can do to recover from Link's back air is air dodge in this LP recovery. That's a good kill setup. I can't believe I didn't even know these base supports. That means that took them to a lot. Yeah, oh, A, B start select. Shit. Uh, that could have been it. Or wait, if wait. you highlight it, what happens? How do I cop? Okay, copy data. Where do you want to copy it to? Right there. Thank you. Well, that was like the exact comment, Greg, that you. <laughs> that that was in the last video too. I don't know. I mean, I, I get if that's not your preference, or preference. Yeah, if you prefer Metroid games not to do that, but I don't. Oh shit! Where am I going? Is this the right? Oh, uh, you mean about how open it is? Yeah, they're not. Or that um. What was it? No, I don't go that way. No, I don't go that way either. I can't tell if you're using the map or not. Uh, I, I, I usually don't. <laughs> okay. Lots of bonds of fun. Okay, I know I'm going the right way now. Oh no, this is for the, uh... Yeah. This is the right one. Yeah, they had a fake passage there, that's cool. I think I can save here with no issue. Yeah, because it's right before the SAX fight. So it's probably going to be that and whoever my final boss is going to be, I have no idea. Yeah, the okay, hang on. I'm reading Bleach's comment. Fusion locks off a lot of the world at various times, doesn't it? Yeah, so eh, kind of. That's my biggest disappointment. If you need to go back for more items or want a distraction, you are told you can't. Yeah, I don't exactly find it that big a deal. Where is she? 
Okay. Oh god! Okay, I know I can... I just saw that I can actually jump through. Oh, hold on, I can charge while I'm jumping like this. I'm not sure charging a miss... I forget if missile charging does more damage. I thought that was just for diffusion, but... God, mm. right on my ass. So yeah, I can't screw attack through her beams. Oh, I cannot freeze her out of her screw attack, though. Yeah, her screw attack, I'm pretty sure, is just invincibility. Yeah, it does so much- Ah, oh, fuck you. So much damage, too. Look at that, like, I think three of my energy tanks just went out. I remember there being a certain place in this room where you can cheese her, and she'll move very predictably and very not in your way. Oh god. Yeah, I, I was mostly full, so I don't need to keep going in here. Oh man, first really, now I gotta figure out how to deal with this thing. Okay. The room is a lot more... Well, at least I'm not dealing with an oversized boss, but... I'm trying to figure out how to deal with her. There's a couple bosses in this game with some rough platforming. Um, yeah. Although this has nothing on the plasma beam boss. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, interesting note is that you can actually keep charging even while um, somersaulting through the air. Alright, where is she? Okay. You can do that in previous games, like that's how the uh, fake screw attack works. Get down here. Uh, doing a sort of combo with the missiles and then... Holy shit. Like that. Seems... Oh, Cohen, that didn't hurt her. Yeah. We have, like, just enough time to charge up a, a beam shot. down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to like, forget, yeah, that's not working. What? I saw that. Saw what? I saw her like shooting diagonally and hitting me when I was way below her, her beam fire. I'm gonna have to catch that uh, when you upload it. Yeah. I don't know if it's the emulator, but I think they jacked up the size of her hitboxes. You had a problem like that before, didn't you? Yeah, it was exactly with the SAX too, and I slowed it down and everything. Also, she is able to shoot beams out of her foot. Are you jealous? Yeah. I'm very jealous. Bayonetta has something like that, right? You know, like guns in your shoes or something? No, those are <laughs> gum shoes. Yeah. No, gum shoes. Oh, gum. <laughs> like a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it! Oh, God! Get out of your screw attack, you... And that too! Did you see that? How she like screw attacks like straight horizontally? Like I can't do that.
I mean, I'm not sure about how, how I feel about having a double that a double fight where they do things that you can't do. Gotcha. That means they're just better than you. Try hitting the buttons on the controller. <laughs> okay. Where are you? Yeah, I think the uh, X button on the Game Boy Advance does your uh, side dodge move. Where is she? Oh, there she is! Gotcha. Yeah, you see that? Gotcha. Yeah, I wonder if the, the plasma beam get, might get you more bang for your buck because you can't, like... If you missile, you can't stand in place and unload oh. it like you could with uh, Ridley. Get away from me! Oh my gosh, she won't get off my head! Gotcha. Seems like you're getting this. Yeah, it, it seems to be like you run in circles. I think I gotta learn how to bait show back and push it hard. <laughs> Like that. Like, I, I keep getting her in like that exact same spot every time. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this, this boss is hard. And the one, the major thing too is that she does so much damage. Like, how many times has she hit me? Like, four times? Come on, come on. Got him. Oh. She flipped your foot. She flipped my flip. Yeah, she flipped your foot. Alright. Maybe one more go. Before uh, I call this a session and use the other one to explore a bit. Uh -huh. Okay. I almost had her in like a loop of sorts. Where I, I can pretty much like. It's like a third of the distance of 15 seconds. I don't like it. I'm gonna jump over there. It's like. Attacking is pretty cool. I'm gonna jump everywhere. Come on. Oh! Got one off. Well, there's half your health. Well, are you kidding me? She took off half my health with one shot? Uh, I wasn't watching. I looked away. You had <laughs> health and then looked back, and now you have half health. Pixelating or whatever. Oh god! 
Yeah. Oh, that's enough of me getting whooped for one one session. No, it's not. What's the whoop? Get whipped. Shut up. Let's go to time. All right. No, I think I blocked out most of that memories. <laughs> <laughs> My career as a video game journalist is non existent. You're more of a critic, anyway. Yeah. I think they're not, I mean, I think they're mutually exclusive. Well, no, but um, you certainly had leaned towards one side rather than the other. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Adrian here is about to kick some saxed ass. <laughs> yeah. Also, the. Sass. It's actually 60 frames per second this time, and it's actually noticeable. For whatever reason, the fault on the emulator was like frame skipping by nice. two. Or the ball neck in you. Yeah. Yeah, you can upload 60 frames per second to YouTube now, but, um, you know, have fun keeping around videos that huge. Have fun keeping around videos. I do. Okay. So far, no hits. What if there was a multiplayer mode in a Fusion where one was SAX and the other was regular Samus? That would, that would be... be really imbalanced. <laughs> well, this isn't imbalanced. I mean, you, you couldn't. Collisions don't work. It's balanced because SAX is not as smart as the player. I don't know, all it seems that SAX does is what you do with her beams and her score attack. Yeah, she you can get her in a loop. On level with you. I think it's in power bombs. Got her. Maybe have a, like a bunch of SA, like three SAXs versus one Thanos. That'd be cool. Oh wow, she got yeah. stuck. Not gonna serve a Pac Man versus Pac Man. Yeah. Alright, she's blinking. You're doing a lot better this time. Yeah, I yeah. am. I was able to sit on it for a while. Oh, she's down. What the fuck? Why did it do that? Oh my god. It's angry. It's inside me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm... Oh, that's it, she's done. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a pushover. Alright, this again. I think that's the most grotesque looking thing I've ever seen in Metroid. The, like, like SAX fully evolved or whatever. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's the most body of horror looking thing. It does kind of look like something out of the thing. I mean, typically, Metroid, the Metroid Prime series has more intricate designs. Than that, but seeing it here is pretty alarming. I feel like the SAX fight really is not that interesting. No, it's not. Um, kind of just perfunctory, maybe. Okay, I think it's I just. It's kind of more symbolic than. Yeah. Engaging. Which I suppose is the end of a Metro game plan. That's true. Did it kill it? 
Oh, I killed it! <laughs> I killed it off screen! Where the fuck is going? I think it doesn't like you. can push the thing now. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be here for much longer, but man, look at my health. You do have health. Shoot! Time for the self destruct sequence. Yeah, pass, uh... What did you ask? I guess there'd be no reason to anyway. Why not? Well, he's right at the end. Okay, that's the wrong way. Don't want to waste time. Right now. It's the Super Metroid. Adam, uh... what do I need to do? Fuck. Oh, you can't save anyways. It's uh, it's turned off. There is one awesome segment in um. Sigma Star Saga, where you could save during a <laughs> timed explode, like a self destruct sequence on a planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were talking. No, no, literally, you could do that. Yeah, Star Saga. Awesome. No, you, were, you said awesome in a sarcastic way. Oh, I did. Man. Yeah, you said it's really awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> you can save. Didn't even no. realize I was doing that. Okay. Oh. Because you, you seem to hate that game with a passion. Yeah, I do. It's way forward, so... <laughs> you hate way forward? Oh, shit! Yeah, it's, it's grudging whenever I make a game that I like. Well, I can't move. Yeah, but Shantae sucks. Well, you done... Oh you done my done god, is it... Wow, it's actually defending me. It's the baby Samus. Oh, no! X! Samus sure is a baby. The best friend. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, now I can... Yeah. Wow, this is this just is like... Sick. I think this... And this Metro is sick because it keeps losing from its mouth. No! No, get up! Maybe it's just... Ooh, Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like... That's not healthy. I don't care who you are. Oh, how many Shit. Metroids have you raised? Um... Oh, come on, I don't want to lose now. I've seen them raised. There we go. Like you know, in one of those live streams where they show the the baby and the in the, the baby animals in the incubators. <laughs> uh, I can Oh, you gotta jam the stick. Okay, that's what it was. Wow, I am running out of time. Okay, come on. Shit, stop, sorry. It's a straightforward pattern, but uh, this doesn't make it easy to dodge. So... Oh, just fucking rapid fire, of course. Wow, I almost screwed myself to take the used charge shot. Hey, a boss died without ha releasing a little germ. Well, that was because. Wow, I wonder what that could mean. It was a Metroid. <laughs> X can't copy Metroid. So, 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 so only, oh, yeah, so only Metroids don't release germs when they die. Yeah, because they well, Everything else you killed in the game is an X. Yeah. And this is, that's just what it is. Any interpretation is on the player's part. That perfect military mind. The wisdom of Adam... The Adam Malkovich continues to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. I feel like Samus has to be really dumb if she didn't. Is she this saying was going on. the computer is her commander? It has like it's. They did a brain scan of her commander, and that's what's in the computer running it. 
Okay, but how will the beings of the universe be our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. disgusting in hindsight. What do you mean, disgusting in hindsight? Like the bonus words. He doesn't play other end yet. See the wisdom in them. All bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. And the human soul. Africa is in Samus's visor. <laughs> right, you have a point. The human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam That's taught me. That's where she's going next. The truth. Finally, Metroid 5. Just one detail Africa. still bothers me. This Just like Resident Evil 5, right? Oh god. <laughs> This ship can only be started <laughs> manually, yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hand. Is it possible? Adam? Probably. Yep, right there. No. Lady, what's troubling you? Hey, lady. Is this Jane Where's Lewis? the pretty lady? Yeah. You wonder how I started the <laughs> ship? Just think about it. God. That perfect military mind. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I do think other M would be more entertaining if Adam was. Oh right, those friggin' animals were still on the ship. Etikuns and Decora. Yeah, Etikuns yeah. Decora. Which one's the Etikun? Which one's the Decora? Um, the the monkeys are Etikuns. Yeah, it, she's probably gonna. Hey, right, you need it. Uh, <laughs> every... uh, chief director, you. Yoshi Sakamoto. Yoshi! He wrote the story in the scenario. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Sano Shinya. Original design, Kiyotaki Hiroji. Enemy character design. Uh, there's some more people to design enemies? Well, yeah. I mean, they only have to design them, not... Pixels. Yes. Yeah, pixels, I don't know. Yeah, but two people. But, but two people to pixel art them, that's... Weird. I guess they must have had very intense rules. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if design means they actually design. were involved in the programming or they just did the artwork and the animations. I think they did the artwork, the in-game artwork, the, the animations and everything. Wow, only four people. They made the sprites. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Well, if they're gonna do it every day, then I guess all you need is four people. Hey, the Superman. Jeff Miller, Leslie Swan. I don't see... Nathan Bildorf? <laughs> Bildorf? That's Bildorf, a funny name. Bildorf, yeah. He, he voices Shy Guy. Where's Bill Trenton? I don't see him here. What, he voices Shy Trenton? Guy? Yeah. Bildorf voices Shy Guy. You mean that... That, that noise? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Iwata Satoru. They got his name backwards. Yeah, they seem to put the Japanese names in the more appropriate family name first, then given. All right, what's my completion time? A thumbs up. That's Thumb not a time. Thumbs up. It still has that that web look, only this time it's orange instead of you know blue. Yeah. No rate for collecting items. Is a thumbs up. See you next mission. 51%. Wow, I missed like half the stuff in this. <laughs>